Up next, we are going to talk about this top layer of the integument, the stratum corneum. So the stratum corneum, like I said, it's this top layer. Corneum comes from uh, the same root as corona, which means crown. So this is the crowning layer of your skin. Um, so it is depending on where it is on the body. 20 to 30 layers of dead cells. Um, they're now called corneocytes because they are within the stratum corneum. Now, actually, in really thick skin, it could be more than 30. In very, very thin skin, such as uh, on your scalp, it can be less than this. It really does depend. This is a barrier that protects the live cells underneath. And if you've ever scraped yourself and you feel like you scraped some of the skin off and then it's really, really tender underneath, you scraped off the stratum corneum and exposed the stratum granulosum or the spinosum or the basale or even the dermis underneath. It's entirely stratified squamous epithelial tissue uh, and it's made from the keratinocytes that were full of keratin. Um, I do want to say a thing about keratin, uh, which is it's the same protein that makes your hair and nails, um, and it is also the same protein that makes rhinoceros horn. What does this have to do with anything? Well, I just want to say a word about how fabulous rhinoceroses are. Look how cute this baby rhinoceros is. Um, but also rhinoceroses are poached for their horns um, because... Uh, in certain teachings of traditional medicine, the rhinoceros horn is believed to be an aphrodisiac. So people take the uh, rhino horn, they grind it up, and they take that as medicine, hoping that it will improve their sexual performance. It won't. It's just keratin, and it's the same thing as your fingernails. You might as well grind up fingernails. Um, if you ever buy anything that even claims to have a some something from an endangered animal you are uh, adding to the market for those things that lead to the unnecessary death of uh, those endangered animals rhinos every species of rhino on the planet is uh, critically endangered and so we really do need to work to protect the rhinos including their little rhinoceros horn well this is a big rhino horn uh, which are just made of keratin like our hair and nails okay so let's talk about the nails the nails are modifications of the stratum corneum so the even though the cells there are dead the remember the cells right under that are not dead they're going to produce extra keratin that makes these nails so the um, the nails are found at the dorsal tips of both the fingers and toes, and uh, the there is a layer of skin under the nail, which if you've ever ripped off a nail, is really, really tender because it doesn't have the same love amount of dead skin cells on top. The edge of the nail that is not connected to the skin anymore is called the free edge because it's free, it's not connected. Uh, the main part is called the nail body and uh, it covers the nail bed, which is the layer of epidermis. And then the white part, this little white section that you may or may not have at the proximal end of the nail that's called the uni lunula excuse me lunula luna means moon so the lunula is a moon shaped structure um it has to whether you have them or not has to do with uh several different things um including actually i have no idea but they can come and go so if you have them or don't have them it doesn't matter don't worry about it the cuticle, the technical term for the cuticle is called an eponychium. So next time you go and get a manicure, make sure you tell the manicurist to make sure to push back your eponychia gently. Uh, the, it is a, a layer of skin that tends to grow over the edge of the nail, protecting the edge of the nail. But then it does great things like dry out and break and bleed and that's just rude. So that is all. Those are the parts of the nail and that is part of the stratum corneum. Okay, so we did all of our layers of the epidermis, the stratum basale at the bottom, the stratum spinosum, this 
thick layer of cuboidal cells, stratum granulosum of squamous cells building up keratin, stratum lucidum in the thick skin but not thin skin, and then the stratum corneum, this thick layer of dead cells that flake off uh, at, regularly and are constantly being replaced by cells from below. And if you need a mnemonic to help remember that, clowns like giving squishy balloons. Corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, bessum. There you go. There's the la layers of the epidermis. Next up, we're going to start learning about the dermis.